This is an open letter, quote unquote, to map checkers in California counties and cities. Uh, when I say open letter, it's, it's like an open letter. I'm doing it by a video, but uh, this is my message to county surveyors and city surveyors that are doing map checking for a local agency. I want to tell you two stories in this video, two short stories, won't take very long. But I think the, the stories illustrate the current problems with map checking in California. And if you know me as a land surveyor, if you know me very long, you know I have some fairly strong opinions about the map checking process in California. Um, I believe the process to a large extent is broken and needs some real serious help. Um, part of the reason I have that opinion is because I work solely in private practice. And the other reason is because I'm also licensed in Nevada where I think the process to get a map filed is, is much easier. And uh, California, I think, could, could have the, the best of both worlds. So they could have a process that was much more streamlined and easier, but also uh, maintain the expertise of a local county surveyor, which we don't have in Nevada, which I think is important. So I want to tell these two stories, um, and I could tell a lot of stories about map checking, but both of these actually happened last week. And the first story, I think, demonstrates uh, the, the problem and the second story uh, demonstrates um, how uh, surveyors in private practice can work with the, with the public surveyor to, to eliminate some of the problem. So I kind of have a, a good example and a bad example, and I, <laughs> I wanted to share both of those. And then just talk about some of the lessons um, I think are important. So the first story has, has to do uh, with the corner record that we are trying to get filed. Uh, it's a very simple monument preservation corner record. I think, it, you know, we show, I don't know, somewhere between four and six parcels. We found a couple monuments on as, as part of a monument preservation project. It's a pre-construction corner record. And we were getting pretty close to, to getting the corner record uh, ready to, to submit on cardstock, getting the final approval. And the, the, the county that we're in has a what we call a contract county surveyor. So in other words, the county surveyor isn't an employee. It's one of my competitors that works for the county on a contract basis. And I know the surveyor and I know the company. And so we've, we've, we've got this corner record pretty close to the finish line and the county surveyor uh, responded and said, uh, asked for, some, for some, some small changes, primarily one small change to the, to the corner record. And it was a, what I call an aesthetic change. In other words, it, it wasn't a technical thing. Um, he, was, he was asking for, for an aesthetic change. It's just basically his preference, right? He said, I'd like you to add something to the corner record. And it wasn't really related to the purpose of the corner record. It didn't, in my opinion, really provide any helpful information to the retracing surveyor. And so I told him, I said, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna make that change. You know, we've been through a couple rounds of comments on a pretty simple corner record. I would like you to just get this thing filed. And he blew a valve. So he got really upset. Um, he sent me some emails that were were not very kind. They they were they were slightly slightly nasty. Uh, called me a couple names, and basically told me I was an unreasonable, arrogant, pig-headed fool, something to that effect. <laughs> and uh, and so I responded to him and said, you know, I I appreciate that we have a difference of opinion here. Um, I'd like you to file my corner record, and if you don't want to file my corner record, please let me know that in writing so I can take the appropriate steps to make sure that it, that it gets filed. And he went ahead and wrote me back and said, I'm gonna file your corner record. So I, I the, the corner record's gonna be filed as I had submitted it, um, but things, you know, things had to get nasty there, which is unfortunate. Um, I, you know, I was able to keep my cool. Um, I, didn't, I didn't return the name calling or the insults, which is, which is a positive thing. But I, you know, I was upset, I, I was angry, I was irritated. Um, and he was upset and angry and irritated. So uh, that's, not a, that's not a good result. So, and I, and I understand why the county surveyor was upset. You know, part of what he told me was, this is, Landon, this is a simple change. You know, take your people less than an hour to make this change. I don't understand why, why you won't just do it. You know, why do you have to be stubborn? And there is some merit to that argument. I, I understand why he feels that way. And so I want to explain why I refuse to make the change. And, I, and there's five reasons why. And then we'll... We'll get, I'll get, tell you the second story, and then, then we can get into this a little, a little deeper. So here's the five reasons why I refuse to make that change to that corner record. The first reason is the change wasn't legally required. So I had already met the legal requirements for the corner record. 
And I think it's important for, for map checkers in California to understand that when I'm submitting a corner record or a re record survey as a general rule, I am meeting a government mandate. Okay, so this is something that the government puts a gun to my head and says, you are going to do this whether you want to or not at your cost, right? And so I think that's, that's an important distinction. So I'm not working for you. You're not my client. I have another client that's paying my bill, and I have a responsibility as a licensed professional to meet the requirements of the law, but I also have a responsibility to my client not to waste their money. And so my corner record met the legal requirements, uh, and in my opinion, went above the legal requirements, what was legally required as a minimum corner record submittal, and this county surveyor was asking for something beyond that. And uh, he can ask, but I don't have an obligation to do it. So that was the first reason. What he was asking for wasn't re legally required. The second reason is it wasn't techn technically necessary. Um, even if something isn't legally required, it, you know, if the county surveyor can demonstrate to me that, that it's really, it needs to be uh, added or changed to the document so the document can be properly understood from a technical perspective, I'm willing to entertain that argument and I may make that change. But in this case, it was just an aesthetic thing. It wasn't technically necessary. The third reason was um, there was what I felt was some inconsistent checking of corner records in this county. So in this particular county, uh, the reason I had submitted the corner record in the form I had was because that's what the previous county surveyor had wanted. Now I've got a contract county surveyor who wants to change the rules to fit, to fit his personal preference. And the irony was uh, this coming week, the week of July 4th, is actually that contract surveyor's last week with the county. So in a little more than a week, I am going to be dealing with a new contract county surveyor who is going to have his own list of personal preferences. And I'm not going to do, play this game where I make the change for this guy, resubmit the corner record, and then the new guy that I'm going to be dealing with in just a little over a week is going to ask for additional changes to meet his or her preferences. And I'm just, I'm not going to do that, and my client shouldn't have to pay for that. So there was already an issue in this county with some inconsistent checking. The fourth reason is the county has no written standards about what a monument preservation corner record is going to look like. I think at a minimum, if you're going to be nitpicky map checkers, you should have a published standard. I think that's really important, especially in counties where the, the map checking is being done under contract because counties tend to cycle through those contract surveyors on a fairly regular basis. And I shouldn't have to change my submittals based on who your contract surveyor is. And I think Part of having written standards or guidelines allows me to hold you as the map checking agency accountable, right? To be consistent with your map checking comments. And so in this case, there was no written standards, right? It's just whatever the current guy or gal on the job decided they wanted. And then finally, the fifth reason was, uh, and I tried to explain this to the county surveyor, contract county surveyors, although on that particular corner record, we were only talking about an hour or so of work, um, that, that cost adds up. And so for this one particular client that we do a lot of monument preservation work for, you know, I might, I might do 200 corner records this year. And so an hour per corner record to make the county surveyor happy is 200 hours, right? That's five weeks of a full-time employee. That's a cost that I and my client have to bear. And it's really not necessary if it's just for aesthetic preferences of the county surveyor. So that's why I refuse to make the change. Now, let me tell you a second story. I think it also illustrates the problem with map checking in California, but it has a little happier ending. Uh, so in this case, uh, we're in another neighboring county, we're submitting a lot of corner records. So I think right now we have, we have close to 50 corner records in process just right now at this moment in time. So we, we send this county a lot of corner records and uh, I can tell they're getting frustrated because uh, we're, we're sending in a lot of corner records and they don't get paid. They don't get paid for those. I mean, they get paid through taxes, but I don't pay a fee to file them. And so the, the county, one of the county uh, employees sent an email to uh, somebody on my team and said, hey, we'd really like to change the way you guys are submitting these corner records. You're submitting so many of them that it's getting hard for us to keep track. And we'd like to just talk to you about some things you guys could do that would make it easier on your end. So um, I replied and told the, the, the map checker and her boss, the county surveyor, hey, understand we've sent you guys a lot of corner records. That will probably continue. I don't think that's going to stop. I'm absolutely willing to have a conversation with you guys about if there's simple things we can do on our end to make this easier for you, we'll be willing to do that. And so the, the county basically asked for two things. They said, hey, we would like you guys to keep track of the review comments. We don't really want to do that. 
So every time you send in a corner record, we need, we need you to send in our last set of comments so we don't have to go find them. You know, that's a little bit silly. I think the county should be keeping track of their own comments, but I'm not going to pitch a fit about it. We already have the comments. We keep track on our end. So I said, sure, when we send in a corner record, if it's a resubmittal, we'll send in your last set of comments with the corner record so they didn't have to do, go dig for them. And then they said, hey, you know, we assign these corner records to our techs in batches, to our map checkers in batches, and it would really be easier for us if you guys would send in the, uh, the revised submittals in batches. So don't send them to us one at a time as you finish them, you know, hold them until you have the whole batch ready. And again, you know, I, is that, should I have to do that? No, you know, is it a ton of extra work on my end? No, you know, I can accommodate that. So we told them, all right, We'll go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll keep track of these in batches and we'll send them back in um, as we get them revised based on your comments. We'll do that in batches. So why did I agree in this case to, to this extra work where I didn't agree in the, in the first case? Well, one, one reason I agreed was, you know, they're not being entirely unreasonable. I wasn't super happy with it necessarily, but uh, the changes they were asking for were what I call functional changes, not aesthetic. In other words, they weren't asking me to change my font or the thickness on one of my line types. Uh, they wanted to really deal with, with the process, and I'm submitting a lot of corner records over there. So I was like, you know what? If, if there's some simple things my team can do to make this process easier, I know I'm sending you guys a lot of corner records. We'll try and do that. So I didn't think it was an unreasonable change. And the other thing is, you know, I can solve that problem at scale, right? So that's something I can change on my end that uh, I can implement at one time. We're just going to change the way we process corner records in that county. And... Um, it's fairly easy to do and it scales easily, right? So it's not, it's not something where I'm going back and I'm burning a bunch of time on each individual corn record. All right, so what do we learn from these two stories about map checking in California? Number one, like I mentioned, man, I really think the process is broken, okay? I shouldn't have to have a, an argument with a county uh, surveyor about a simple monument preservation corner record. Like that should almost get filed without major comment. Um, as long as I've met the legal requirements, it shouldn't take four check prints and a, a bunch of back and forth on the phone or by email to get a corner record filed, a monument pres quarter, preservation corner record. I think the other thing that this demonstrates is, you know, I feel like county surveyors in California regularly exceed their authority, their legal authority and what they ask me to do. That's a problem. Uh, it's, uh, it's a widespread problem. I, 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 I face it all over California and it needs to get corrected. And it won't get corrected until more surveyors like me in private practice stand up and say, you know what, this is, this is ridiculous. It shouldn't be this hard to get a map or corner record filed. And I'm not going to keep making these changes, aesthetic changes as part of an inconsistent and poorly managed map checking process. And then finally, uh, and this is probably the most important part, is I want uh, map checkers at cities and counties to understand that there is a real cost to these changes, especially at scale. So one of the things I tried to explain to the, the county surveyor from the first story I told you is, you know, I'm going to file probably somewhere between 200 and 300 corner records in California this year, and I'm going to file somewhere between 20 and 30, maybe 40 records of survey maps, right? So we're, we're doing almost three records of survey a month uh, right now, could, and that could easily go to four or five as we hit summer peak season. And so... I understand that you only see your one corner record or your one map that I have submitted to your jurisdiction. You don't realize that I'm dealing with tens or hundreds of those documents over the course of a year or two. And I, I can't af literally cannot afford to argue with you about inconsequential stuff. Um, if I try and do that, I'm going to go out of business. And you have to remember that I'm dealing with a bunch of competitors that do not follow follow the law, they don't file record of survey maps, and they don't file corner records. So I have to find a way to do that efficiently or I'm not gonna be in business. And I don't even have time to argue with you. Um, and that's what I told the second, the, the county surveyor in the first example, I said, I'm not even gonna, he wanted to argue. He's like, I don't understand why you won't talk to me about this. I, like, I don't have time to argue with you. The corner record meets the legal requirements of the law. It's legible, it accomplishes its purpose file it, right? And I told the guy, I'm like, I, if, I, if I stopped every time to have a two-hour argument with a county surveyor about my font or my line type thickness, and I did that in every jurisdiction where I'm trying to file corner records and records of survey, like, that would, I would go bankrupt. I mean, you do not have time for this. 
I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not trying to be unkind. I'm not trying to be arrogant. That is the business reality that I am dealing with, right? I am meeting a government mandate. I want to do that as efficiently as possible while spending as little money, a little of my client's money as possible, right? While still meeting my obligations under the law and as a licensed professional. And if you get in the way of that, I am going to let you know, and I'm not going to be apologetic about it, right? This has to change. Okay, it has to change or the only surveyors left in California that are going to be filing maps and corner records are going to be surveyors that cut corners and break the law, right? In other words, we won't have any getting filed because the people that break the law don't deal with this, right? The only people that deal with this are the people that are trying to follow the law. So that's my open letter. I know um, there will be some people that don't like what I have to say, uh, but but I would just I want you to realize that I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm not trying to be unkind. I'm not trying to be a troublemaker. I'm not trying to cause problems, right? What I am trying to do is follow the law, be a good steward of my client's money, and get my documents filed, right? As quickly and as efficiently as, as, efficiently as, as I can. And in order for that to work, you have to be reasonable with what you expect as a map checker, and you need to stick to the requirements of the law.